Now pallet slips, floors, or totes. I always put P in here for pallets. Your bill of lading will tell you what you're hauling. Um, more than likely it's going to be pallets, so I always put P for pallets. The quantity. Now your bill of lading will tell you how many pallets you are hauling. Uh, sometimes it might be 120, 122, 300. It just depends on what you're hauling. So you'd put that in there and you'd go over to weight. Again, your bill of lading is going to have your weight on it. So you would put the total weight that your bill of lading has on it in that box. You're going to put your bill of lading number in this section, which of course is found on your bill of lading. If you do not have a bill of lading with a bill of lading number on it, the best thing to use here is the reference number that is sent to you by the dispatch. Now you would put your driver ID here at the very bottom. Scroll back down. And once you enter that, the send button would pop up again over here and you would hit send. <clears throat> now, once you get to the final customer that you are delivering the load to, you're going to send a number seven. Arrived at final consignee. Here you will again put the pay number that was sent to you by your dispatcher, the trailer you are bringing into that customer, the loaded trailer number, the city you arrived at, so say you was going from Riverside to Blythe, California, you would put Blythe right here, California down here. The date you got there, the time you got there, the odometer reading, this is the mileage that your truck is showing. Once you had all these boxes filled in, send button would pop up and you would send this load. <clears throat> now, if you uh, get to the customer and it's a live unload, of course you would send the number seven, that arrived at final consignee, and then you would send your number eight. Once you got onto the dock and, they, and you were docked and uh, waiting for them to unload you, you would send a number eight at dock unloading. Again, your pay number, you're at stop number two now. Or, no, I'm sorry, final. You're at stop final. So you're putting an F in this box. It's the final place you're going, the uh, last customer. The city, state, your ETA to being empty. I always give them four hours from the time you dock to the time you're empty. Uh, it should not take that long. Sometimes it might, but I just say four hours from the time I dock and give them an ETA of four hours of being unloaded. Lumper, you're going to say no here. <clears throat> and once you had all these boxes filled in, uh, city, ETA to being empty, need a lumper, you'd say no. For lumper amount, just put zero, zero, zero. Send button pops up, and you send the information. Empty at final consignee. Now, once you arrived at the customer, you've already sent your number seven. If it was a live unload, you sent a number eight. Now, once you was empty or you dropped the trailer that you brought in and you hooked to another empty, you would click here, empty at final consignee. If you haven't noticed the trend, this is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, and most of this is going to be self-explanatory and common sense. if this thing ever loads. Okay, empty at final consignee, delivering trailer number, the trailer you delivered to then. Now once you, of course, you're sending this because you've hooked to an empty trailer, so you're going to put your new trailer number right here, the city, the state, actual empty date, actual empty time. Who signed the bills? Uh, once you checked in at the customer, whoever signed your bills, put a name here. If you did not get a name, just say Bill or Nick. It doesn't matter really fuel gallons in the truck okay for this one I'm going to show you the actual truck because a lot of people don't understand this now fuel a full tank over here is 200 gallons a quarter of tank that's 150 gallons 100 gallons 50 gallons zero so zero 50 100, 150, 200. 
that's how you would determine how much fuel you have in your truck. So I had 150 gallons in my truck. I would put 150 here. Here you're going to put any reimbursements that you had on the trip. Say the load was heavy and you stopped and get, got a scale ticket at a cat scale at a Loves or Pilot. You would put your driver ID in. If you had uh, tows, you could also get those reimbursed. Now you would enter the amount you paid for the scale or the tow. If you had to stay in a hotel, you would put that in there. Extra socks. We don't do any of these. Scales and uh, tows, pretty much all you're going to get reimbursed for. You will never use any of these other ones. Truck supplies, you will use it every now and then if you have to buy, say, a light bulb or windshield wipers, things of that nature, or washing fluid. Now, once you had your, uh, let me scroll back down here, I went too far. Once you put your uh, reimbursements in there, you would put total number of load locks, which is two, of course. Send button would pop up and you would send this load. And yes, this Qualcomm is very slow. Trailer change. This is what you're going to use. Uh, say you can't. Say you drop off at a customer, and they do not have an empty trailer for you to hook up to. You would tell dispatch this by using Freeform over here. You would click Freeform. This would uh, allow you to enter a message, anything you want to. It doesn't matter what you enter in here. Tell them you need directions to an empty. And they would send you directions to an empty. Yeah, CPO. Now, once they sent you directions and you got to a new customer where the empty trailer was, you would send a number 12. Trailer change. And that just tells dispatch that you're under a new trailer. Number 15, a request for cash. This is what you're going to use if you need to get an advance. Uh, say it's the weekend and you have no money. You need money to eat on. Or you need money to buy cigarettes, anything. You do a number 15 here, request for cash. Amount needed, you would enter the amount you needed. Your driver ID your name and reason now if it's for your personal use for cigarettes things like that you can simply put personal here or you can put cigarettes it doesn't matter if it's truck supplies say truck supplies uh now normally your weekend dispatchers or nighttime dispatchers can only give an advance of 25 dollars anything above that amount will have to be during the day while your driver manager is in the office or during the week while he is in the office you can get quite a bit I've had a $500 advance before uh, so that was for personal reasons for medical issues I had to go to the doctor you can get a good advance as long as it's during the week while your driver manager is there if you need it but this will come out of your next paycheck <clears throat> a 22 is available for dispatch you're gonna send this once say you uh, you take home time and you're ready to get back on the road. You would send a 22 telling them you're ready to go. Here we go, let's do it. 25 to maintenance. If you have a flat tire, you have any issues with the truck at all, you're gonna send a 25 to maintenance. I recommend for flat tires to pull into the Loves or Pilot or whatever truck stop you, you, you like to use. Go in and check in with their shop and then come back and send a 25. Otherwise, maintenance is going to tell you to go somewhere else. Uh, once you check in at a shop, say a love shop, they're going to call maintenance for you, and maintenance is pretty much going to let you stay there and get it fixed. So it saves a lot of time. <clears throat> and guys, that's pretty much it for this video. It's already at 21 minutes. 
there's a few more things I'm going to add. I'll probably do another video, but for right now, uh, I'm going to end the video because my throat is killing me. But like I said, guys, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. At 1,000 subscribers, I'm giving a video, or I'm sorry, I'm giving a dash cam away, a Garmin dash cam 55, brand new. Uh, also, go check out the Patreon channel, CPO Chronicles. Come on, guys, hit that subscribe button. Let's get to 1,000 subscribers. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'm out.